Singapore, a family feud has now become a public rift. The general elections are just around the corner and Prime Minister's younger brother has joined the opposition party. They are sons of Singapore's founding father, Lee Kuan Yew, and political heirs to Singapore's throne. The split has sparked fresh debates over years of political repression to mishandling of the virus outbreak. Here's a report. The story of Cain and Abel is playing out in Singapore. Two brothers pitted against each other in the next election. The sons of Lee Kuan Yew, Singapore's modern day founder. One is Lee Sien Long, the Prime Minister of Singapore, the de facto leader of his father's party. The second is Lee Sien Yang, the younger brother, now a member of the opposition party. What are they fighting over? Ancestral property their father's house. The younger son wants the house to be demolished as per their father's will, but the older one calls it a historical monument. The house is just a metaphor for the political legacy. The older son and current prime minister is accused of trying to appropriate it. Their party, the People's Action Party, has ruled Singapore since independence. Since 1965, and that too, with clear majority. But this election may be tougher to win. The party is nervous. Because in the opposition is one of their own. The younger Lee has joined the Progress Singapore Party. People are questioning the authoritarian rule of the party. The father, Lee Kuan Yew, ruled for 40 years and turned Singapore into an authoritarian state. Lee curtailed civil liberties, imposed media control, and limited public protests. He bought libel suits against political opponents and pushed them to bankruptcy. Today, Singapore is not only known for being a developed city-state, but also for its strict legislation. Here's an example. Selling chewing gum is illegal and playing obscene songs is banned. Lee Kuan Yew's eldest son, Long, has been the Prime Minister for nearly 16 years. Under him, the repression has continued. In 2019, his government adopted a law to fight fake news, the Protection Against Online Falsehoods and Manipulation Act. Now the government can remove online content. Critics say this is censorship. Now the pandemic has complicated the situation for the Prime Minister and his party. Their term won't end till next April but they've called an early election. Many believe the second wave of COVID-19 cases made the Prime Minister nervous. With a population of 5.8 million people, Singapore's measures against the virus outbreak were hailed as the gold standard. Then cases began to soar. The opposition blames the Prime Minister, says he is placing politics over people's safety. The pandemic is the biggest election issue. The opposition says the Prime Minister mishandled the outbreak. The sentiment is strong, but the gap between the government and the opposition is too wide. The ruling party has 82 seats. The only opposition party in Parliament has only nine seats. This election might change that. Bureau Report, we are World is One.